why and how does someone at a young age get into ventriloquism, <laughs> mm -hmm. being a ventriloquist, uh, you know, over all the other stuff that, that could have been out there. And I mean, oh, thankfully, yeah. it probably wasn't. You know, thanks to mom and dad, it's not video games and all the other stuff that no, yeah. you know, kids your age are probably doing as well. But mm -hmm. why, why did you, you decide to have... You know. you know, yeah, it definitely is not common, it, or it wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, it just truly is not something kids pick up. You know, they're like, I want to learn ballet yeah. or soccer. Ride a pony. But I was like, no, I want to sing with puppets. <laughs> but what? So I was super shy as a kid, as painfully shy, and just hadn't, you know, really come out of my shell yet. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> truly, they were kind of worried about me. And so uh, they kind of put me in this little pageant system where I could meet other girls and make new friends. And it was a good program where yeah. if you won, you could get scholarship money for college or something like that. Um, but uh, I met a girl through that system who did ventriloquism for her talent portion. And I was around nine at the time. Mm -hmm. And I had never seen it before. And I had never heard of it. It it was insane. I was like, what is this? Yeah. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And... Um, so, you know, I was probably the most annoying little kid to this girl because I asked her about a million questions um, and for tips and pointers and where did she get her puppets and, and this and that because I was just so, oh, my gosh, I have to do this. And so um, when I hit 10, you know, I had been really getting interested into it. And so mm -hmm. I begged my parents for a puppet. I was like, please, can I get a puppet in there? And they said no. <laughs> Literally, how I mean, I'm just for throwing context, you on out of the bus. How much of these exposing puppets? you right now? They said no, uh, because at the time, yeah, I was doing gymnastics, and so you know, a lot of people don't know this about me. And I did gymnastics for a little over five years, almost six years, mm -hmm. and was training. I wanted to go to the Olympics. Okay. Like I was, and I was a pretty good little gymnast. And so that's what I was doing, my passion. And uh, I had three brothers in school and they were like, we don't have enough offer on our plate for this. And I was so persistent, so persistent. And so they surprised me with one from eBay yeah. for like 30 bucks um, on my 10th birthday. And that is how it all started. So young, be, you know, young girl Darcy was like, I want to go to the Olympics. I'm going to be, you mentioned not doing sports earlier, but I mean, yeah, tum that was tumbling my sport. is one of the, mm -hmm. you know, tumbling is a sport. And, and you know, I, it was crazy because, you know, when I told my coaches, I was like, I want to quit to sing with puppets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they thought I was absolutely crazy yeah. and actually had me sit down with them and my parents to try, you know, to convince me not to quit <laughs> gymnastics because they thought I was crazy and, yeah. and they knew I was super good. And, but I was like, no, <laughs> I was so firm about it. My 11 year old self, yeah. it was crazy. I just, I don't know, something in me, I was like, this is, this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. And just had a really gut feeling. And so I quit and I don't regret it <laughs> at all. It's paid off, right? <laughs> it has. <laughs>